access was still applied. Introduction to Color Blindness. This graphic illustrates three different types of color blindness. The first being uh, not able to see green, the second not being able to see red, and the third not being able to see blue. When people have a genetic defect in their X chromosome, it can affect their ability to see color. The reason women have it better is because they have two X chromosomes and men only have one. So when they have the genetic defect, it's a higher rate in the population. So what we're going to look at today is a tool that we have available to us on the web to look at how colors are going to appear for people who are colorblind. And the tool is called the Color Blindness Simulator. So if you're looking for the website, you want to look for www.color-blindness.com slash c-o-b-l-i-s hyphen color hyphen blindness hyphen simulator. That's the web address. And you'll see that when I start manipulating this, I can change it to different types of color blindness effects. So it affects the picture that we have here and I just go through the individual radio buttons and click on each one and you see the effects below in the picture. What's nice is that you can take your own pictures and come up here to this button and upload them and here I'm going to bring in this little heat map type thing and I'm going to set it back on normal so you can see what it looked like originally. And now I'm going to go through the spectrum and show you what it changes to as I go through it. You see how it fades the colors out. And so this is a nice little tool that is on the web for you developers and for anyone who is interested in seeing what color blindness is really like. If you really want to help people who are colorblind, you don't use color only. You can use several different techniques to improve the understanding of colored coded material by adding gradients, patterns, and lettering. So the first set here is just changing the size of the gradients in the radial version or the linear version where the whiteness gets larger to show a change. You can also have thick lines at an angle or horizontally or vertically and thin lines and you can use different dot numbers uh, like this one has nine this one has 12 and so you can also stagger the lines thick and thin and also reverse the the lines so someone might not be able to see this dark blue and not recognize it from another color but they can also see the difference between the line angle here we have the final version, which is a lettered version of a color. So in the legend, you would add A, B, C, D, E, and F. That would show the difference in the colors for someone who's colorblind. If you know anyone who has red-green color blindness, have them look at Enchroma.com. This company has come up with a technology that they build into glasses that help people with that type of color blindness to see colors for the first time. Hopefully you'll be able to help either the people coming to your website or help people you know who are red, green, colorblind to improve their lives. Showing you how to improve access to your digital world.